Hello there, and welcome. If you'd like to take a seat, we can get started shortly. Let me just grab the... Yes, just the one with your name on it. Very good. Okay, would you just mind confirming your last name for me? Excellent, so we got that correct. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us for this study on psychological testing. We have a few different personality tests for you today. Now, some of these will ask very personal questions, and I just want you to know that this is completely non-judgmental. We're just using this for research purposes. And when we submit your results, they will be completely anonymous, okay? So this isn't going to be saved with your name. And if you would like, you're more than welcome to skip a question if it's too much, okay? You don't have to answer anything that you don't want to. All right. So today we have the Inventory of Phonetic Associations, the Fisher Temperament Inventory, and Cattell's 16 personality factors test. So one of the tests has 50 questions, the second has 62, and I believe the third, let me see, 164. So we will be here for a little bit of time, if that's okay. Excellent. So, is there anything I can get you before we start, since this will be taking a while? Okay, you're comfortable? Very good. Thank you. So, we will be starting with the Inventory of Phonetic Associations. There are 50 questions in this test, and what I want you to do for this test. I will be giving you a nonsensical word, a word that doesn't mean anything in English, and I want you to tell me what you think the word should sound like it means. So, for example, let's go through the first question. So, the very first question has the word vec, V E. Okay. Now to you, if this were a real word, does it sound like it should mean angular or rounded as its definition? Vec. V E K. Okay. Just like that. So that is how we are going to go through these different nonsensical words. Now I'm going to give you the next word, which is gip. Gip. G-I-P. Do you believe that that should mean small or large? Small or large. Okay. And the next word is Lusha. Lusha. L U S U H A. Do you believe this word should mean angry or calm? Lusha. Angry or calm? Okay. And what about the word groit? G-R-O-I-T Groit Do you believe this word should mean healthy or sick? Groit Okay And what about gilded? G-I-L-D-E-N Gilded do you believe this should mean 
friendly or hostile? Friendly or hostile? Gilded. Okay. And Glandor. G-L-A-N-D-O-R. Glandor. Do you believe this should mean small or large? Glander. What should that word sound like it means? Good. And gub. G-U-B. Gub. Does this word sound like it should mean fast or slow? Gub. And what about hilo? Hilo. H I L O. Hilo. Does this word mean bright or dark in your mind? What does that word sound like it should mean? Bright or dark? Hilo. Okay. And what about the word? Zappiner. Zappiner. Z A P I N O R. Zappiner. Does this word sound like it should mean sharp or blunt as its definition? Zappiner. Sharp or blunt? And the next one, ngab, ngab, n-g-o-b, ngab. Does this word sound like it should mean organized or chaotic? Ngab. Okay. And what about thub, thub? Does this word sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Angular or rounded? Okay. And what about mog? Mog. M O G. Mog. Does this word sound like it should mean fast or slow? Fast or slow. Okay. And what about tobe? Tobe. Does this word sound like it should mean sharp or blunt? Sharp or blunt. Tobe. And what about fash? Does this word sound like it should mean angry or calm? Fash. T-H-A-S-H Good. And what about the word bogger? Bogger. B-O-G-R. Bogger. Does that sound like it should mean masculine or feminine? Bogger. Okay. And what about the word yingle? Yingle. Does this sound like it should mean happy or sad? Yingle. And what about gur? G U R. Gur. Does this sound like it should mean sophisticated or rugged? Gur. Okay. And what about the word sculpt? Sculpt. Does this sound like it should mean friendly or hostile? Sculpt. And what about holo? Holo. Does this word sound like it should mean linear or circular? Holo. Mm -hmm. And what about moop? M-O-O-P, moop. 
Does this word sound like it should mean sharp or blunt? Mope. Okay. And what about the word tam? Tam. T-A-M. Does that sound like it should mean friendly or hostile? Tam. What about shish? Does this sound like it should mean small or large? Shish. Shish. Okay. And what about the word gerb? G U R B. Gerb. Does this sound like it should mean sharp or blunt? Sharp or blunt. Gerb. Okay. And what about the word wobe? W U L B. Wobe. Does this mean, does this sound like it should mean, rather, linear or circular? Wobe. Okay. And what about the word huffed? Huffed. H-U-F-T. Does this sound like it should mean small or large? Huffed. Okay. What about the word grasped? Grasped. Does this sound like it should mean angry or calm? Grasped. Good. And what about gike? G I K E, gike. Does this sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Gike. And what about the word sass? Does this sound like it should mean fast or slow? Zass. Z-A-S. And what about wob? W-O-B. Wob. Does this sound like it should mean sharp or blunt? Wob. And what about the word ingust? Does this sound like it should mean angry or calm in gust? Okay. And what about the word jumable? Jumable. J-U-M-O-P-A-L. Jumable. Does this sound like it should mean few or many? Few or many. Or many. Chumapol. Okay. And what about glicket? That's a fun one. Glicket. Does this sound like it should mean sharp or blunt? Glicket. And what about the word chiv? Chiv. Does this sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Chiv. Okay. And what about the word ngub? Ngub. N-G-U-B. Ngub. Does this sound like it should mean fast or slow? Ngub. And done. D-U-N, done. Does this sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Done. Okay. And what about the word finny? Finny. Does this sound like it should mean fast or slow? Finny. F-I-N-I. Good. And what about the word joji? Joji. Does this sound like it should mean friendly or hostile? Joji. Yes, I suppose it depends on where you heard that name from, huh? 
<laughs> and what about the word fung? Fung. F U N G. Fung. Does this sound like it should mean human or animal? Fung. Okay. And the next word is foia. Foia. F O I A. Foia. Does this sound like it should mean masculine or feminine? Foia. Good. Doing really well, by the way. I don't believe we have too many left here. The next word is pinny. Pinny. P I N I. Pinny. Does this sound like it means small or large? Small or large? Pinny. The next word is Evela. Evela. E V E L A. Evela. Does this sound like it should mean sophisticated or rugged? Evela. And the next word is sick. Sick. <laughs> Putting a little bit of a German ich into it. Does this sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Z I C H. Sick. The next word is pulitas. Pulitas. Does this sound like it should mean angry? Or calm. Pulitas. The next word is yab. Y O B yab. Does this sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Yab. The next word is scrummin. Scrummin. Does this sound like it should mean friendly or hostile? Scrummin. Okay. And what about the word aura? Aura. O R A. Aura. Does this sound like it should mean linear or circular? Aura. And what about the word VIP? VIP. V-I-P. VIP. Does this sound like it should mean fast or slow? VIP. And what about the word LINI? LINI. Does this sound like it should mean friendly or hostile? LINI. L-I-N-I. Lenny. What about the word nog? Nog. Does this sound like it should mean angular or rounded? Nog. Okay, and the last one. Alderth. Alderth. Does this sound like it should mean old or new? Alderth. Very good. Okay. So the next test that we are going to be doing is called the Fisher Temperament Inventory. This is 62 questions, and you are going to be answering one of four possible answers. Either strongly disagree, disagree, agree, or strongly agree. Let me just get that one pulled up. Just a moment. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going 
going to read to you a statement, and I want you to tell me whether you strongly disagree, disagree, agree, or strongly agree, okay? The first question is, I often find myself getting lost in my thoughts during the day. With this statement, would you strongly agree, disagree, agree, or strongly agree? Good. I would rather have loyal friends than interesting friends. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, or strongly agree. Good. I understand complex machines easily. I am able to solve problems without letting emotion get in the way. After watching an emotional film, I often still feel moved by it several hours later. I enjoy competitive conversations. I have a very wide range of interests. I like to work in a straightforward path towards completing the task. Regardless of what is logical, I generally listen to my heart when making important decisions. My friends would say I am very curious. When I wake up from a vivid dream, it takes me a few seconds to return to reality. Taking care of my possessions is a high priority for me. I consider and reconsider every option thoroughly before making a plan. It is important to respect authority. My friends and family would say I have traditional values. I am always looking for new experiences. I can change my mind easily. I am more creative than most people. I have no trouble making a choice, even when several alternatives seem equally good at first. I am more analytical and logical than most people. I am tough-minded. I am more optimistic than most people.
I vividly imagine both wonderful and horrible things happening to me. I am very empathetic. I am more enthusiastic than most people. Debating is a good way to match my wits with others. When reading, I enjoy when the writer takes a sidetrack to say something beautiful or meaningful. People should behave according to established standards of proper conduct. I tend to be meticulous in my duties. I get bored when I have to do the same familiar things. I like to figure out how things work. I have most energy than most people. I think consistent routines keep life orderly and relaxing. I highly value deep emotional intimacy in my relationships. I am intrigued by rules and patterns that govern systems. I frequently catch myself daydreaming. I enjoy planning way ahead. In general, I think it is important to follow rules. I think it is important to be direct. I do things on the spur of the moment. I tend to be cautious, but not fearful. People should behave in ways that are morally correct. I like to avoid the nuances and say exactly what I mean. I get restless if I have to stay home for any length of time. When I buy a new machine, for example, a camera, computer, or car, I want to know all of its technical features. I am very sensitive to people's feelings and needs. When making a decision, I like to stick to the facts rather than be swayed by people's feelings. On my time off, I like to be free to do whatever looks fun.
long-established customs need to be respected and preserved. I pursue intellectual topics thoroughly and regularly. I find unpredictable situations exhilarating. I feel emotions more deeply than most people. I am willing to take risks to do what I want to do. I like to get to know my friend's deepest needs and feelings. I have a vivid imagination. I am always doing new things. Which of these best describes you? I tend to think concretely, I only trust the facts, or I tend to be imaginative and listen to my intuition. Which of these best describes you? I tend to be cautious in my work and thinking, or I tend to be daring in my work and thinking. Which of these best describes you? I constantly seek new adventures, or I generally prefer to do familiar things. Which of these best describes you? I tend to be tough-minded, or I tend to be tender-hearted. Which of these best describes you? I'm interested in all kinds of people, or I am interested in people who share my deepest interests. Which of these best describes you? And this is the last one. I'm not very introspective. I tend to look out, not in. Or I'm very introspective. I'm interested in deeply understanding others. Okay. Very good. And I think we have time for one more. So our last test is the Cattell's 16 personality factors test. There are 164 statements and you can answer either strongly disagree, disagree, neither agree nor agree, or disagree or agree rather, agree or strongly agree. So this is like our previous test, however you have the added option of saying neither disagree or agree. Okay, give me just a moment. And we will pull that up. Cattell's 16 personality factors. Okay. I take time out for others. Strongly disagree. Disagree. Neither disagree or agree. Agree or strongly agree. I take time out for others. Okay. I know that I am not a special person. Strongly disagree. Disagree. Neither. Agree. Or strongly agree. 
I take control of things. I try to forgive and forget. I keep in the background. I can't do without the company of others. I trust others. I am not easily frustrated. I cheer people up. I often feel uncomfortable around others. I seldom feel blue. I dislike myself. I take charge. I let others make the decisions. I believe in the importance of art. I like to get lost in thought. I wait for others to lead the way. I am willing to talk about myself. I find it difficult to approach others. I enjoy my privacy. I swim against the current. I feel guilty when I say no. I am hard to get to know. I don't talk a lot. I believe in one true religion. I feel crushed by setbacks. I am not easily annoyed. I am afraid that I will do the wrong thing. I enjoy being part of a loud crowd. I weigh the pros against the cons. I do unexpected things. I get angry easily. I am quiet around strangers. I don't mind eating alone. I make people feel at ease. I use my brain. I have a good word for everyone. I feel desperate. I want to be in charge. I feel comfortable around people. I am the life of the party. I don't let others discourage me. I enjoy being part of a group. I love to daydream. I distrust people. I worry about things. I am not easily bothered by things. I respect authority. I do things that others find strange. I skip difficult words while reading. 
I feel comfortable with myself. I am exacting in my work. I tend to analyze things. I continue until everything is perfect. I believe that people are basically moral. I am quick to judge others. I am relaxed most of the time. I enjoy silence. I show my feelings. I judge people by their appearance. I prefer variety to routine. I never challenge things. I can't stand being contradicted. I try not to think about the needy. I am easily put out. I prefer to do things by myself. I get irritated easily. I know the answers to many questions. I trust what people say. I like to stand during the national anthem. I love flowers. I find it hard to forgive others. I leave my belongings lying around. I feel others' emotions. I let myself be pushed around. I don't like crowded events. I enjoy hearing new ideas. I act wild and crazy. I read a lot. I try to follow the rules. I enjoy wild flights of fancy. I use swear words. I don't worry about things that have already happened. I say what I think. I am easily hurt. I enjoy spending time by myself. I don't mind being the center of attention. I seldom get lost in thought. I suspect hidden motives in others. I am not interested in abstract ideas. I am easily discouraged. I am not afraid of providing criticism. I disclose my intimate thoughts. I don't like action movies. I want everything to be just right. I feel threatened easily. I am the last to laugh at a joke. I enjoy discussing movies and books with others. 
I joke around a lot. I have a poor vocabulary. I dislike loud music. I make insightful remarks. I enjoy bringing people together. I get chores done right away. I reflect on things before acting. I am not bothered by disorder. I don't like to get involved in other people's problems. I break rules. I can take strong measures. I love large parties. I do not like poetry. I believe that others have good intentions. I leave a mess in my room. I put off unpleasant tasks. I oppose authority. I resist authority. I readily overcome setbacks. I get confused easily. I know how to comfort others. I am open about myself to others. I rarely notice my emotional reactions. I amuse my friends. I love to think up new ways of doing things. I dislike works of fiction. I do not enjoy watching dance performances. I start conversations. I make friends easily. I often feel blue. I counter others' arguments. I am not interested in theoretical discussions. I seek quiet. I have frequent mood swings. I learn quickly. I rarely look for a deeper meaning in things. I like to read. I keep my thoughts to myself. I try to avoid complex people. I reveal little about myself. I am not bothered by messy people. I consider myself an average person. I like order. I avoid philosophical discussions. I am annoyed by others' mistakes. I cry during movies. I am not really interested in others. 
I believe that people are essentially evil. I know how to get around the rules. I seldom joke around. I carry the conversation to a higher level. I spend time thinking about past mistakes. I talk to a lot of different people at parties. I bottle up my feelings. I want to be left alone. I take an interest in other people's lives. I am wary of others. I enjoy teamwork. I have little to say. I believe laws should be strictly enforced. I do things by the book. I am open about my feelings. I believe that people seldom tell you the whole truth. Last one, I take deviant positions. Yes, an interesting last question. Excellent. So that concludes the Cattell's 16 personality factors test. And that concludes our psychological testing for today. Did you have any questions at all? Right, so after everything has been tallied up, we will be sending a copy to your email so you can get your results there for your own personal curiosity, okay? And you did sign the release form, didn't you? For research? Yes, yes, it's right here. Very good. Excellent. So that is all I need from you. Okay? I'd like to thank you so much for participating in our psychological study testing today. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Bye now.